Happy Christmas, you filthy muggles. Hello everyone, this is V Rye Brains and a very Merry Christmas to you. Um, it is the day before Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, um, but I wanted to get this up early just because Christmas Day at my house is actually insane um, and so I'm not going to have time to do my makeup and upload a video and everything else. But for today I wanted to give a, a nice um, simple makeup look for um, for Christmas that you can do really quickly like while you're getting ready to go out or while something is cooking or what whatever have you um you can definitely make it more glam if need be for a holiday party or something but this is my look on it with a little bit of shimmer and just using incorporating the colors of the season uh, so if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching so I've already done my foundation and everything um and you know my bronzer and stuff so we can move straight into the tutorial so this is the Too Faced Pretty Little Planner um, holiday set they came out with a few holiday sets um, this one I got from Ulta and there's another one that's a bit bigger um, that is that Sephora has and then they they also have a box set that has um, three palettes in it I think that's the three sets uh, for Christmas, but opening it up, you get this um, cute little like planner case. It says "Wake Up, Make Up, Repeat," and it has this cute little thing. And then when you open it, you get a mini Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Um, you get this cute little planner thing that can go into the stuff it comes with stickers um and it, it's really just a 2018 like little planner and stuff I like it a lot because um now that I started my new job I'm gonna need like as many calendars as I can get and I like visual calendars I like calendars that I can look at and like see stuff as opposed to like it being on my phone or my computer and I have to click on it um and then it also comes with the palette now the case is pretty cool you can stick your planner in there they have a little like um hole for a pen but technically it is big enough to also fit this palette in it I don't know why you would do that but if you wanted to like you want to just carry everything together um you can so this is the palette um it's nice I like it a lot there's no smell to it I already checked um but it's cool it has a couple it has lots of mattes and shimmers which is what drew me to this palette as opposed to the Sephora one so the Sephora one retails for about $58 I want to say this is 42 it could be 42 or 48 um I'll have a link down below but um so Too Faced gets a lot of flack for coming out with the same shades every year um I don't pay enough attention to anything ever to be able to determine that but I will say that these shades are pretty common shades there's nothing in it that is crazy um, and that goes for the same thing for the um, bigger palette that Sephora has so the reason why I was drawn to this one was because I liked the idea of like having the planner and having everything was super cute but I like the idea with this one is that there's a lot of matte shades that match shimmer shades so you can definitely do a lot of cute looks and a lot of like more glam looks with this palette um, and also have like you know the mattes and the shimmers like have the mattes that you need to do do the transition colors and everything um, so that will is what lead, led me towards this palette and just because the Sephora one was more expensive and I didn't need all that it's still like the same shades and stuff um, so as of right now we are going to go into this middle brown right here called coffee first with my, I'm sorry, I keep like smacking my lips. My lips, are, like it's so winter here. Everything is dry. My skin is dry. My mouth is dry. My life is dry. Um, so please bear with me as I try to get through this. Um, so I'm taking my regular like Urban Decay Alice Wonderland brush. You know the drill. And I'm just gonna put coffee first, all in my crease.
Okay, now, peeing off my brush a little bit, I'm now going to go into the shade right next to it, Snooze You Lose. Also, these, like, shade names are hilarious. I, t I have the Too Faced palette, or the Too Faced holiday set from last year, and these, sh these shade names, I think, are better than last year's. Um, not that there's anything wrong with last year's, just I think these shade names are better. So I'm putting this at the outer corner that blended weird sorry um I put, I'm putting this in the on the outer edge and kind of into the crease but not going all the way over you see it's blending a little weird I don't think it's a shadow spot I think it, I just started off wrong Okay, for the lid, I'm taking the flat shader brush from the Graveyard Girl palette from Tarte, and I'm dipping in to break the ice. Um, it is a really cool, like, frosty, uh, like, bluish green. Actually, let me swatch it first, because now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it looks more bluish than green, and the fact that it's called Break the Ice makes me feel like it's going to be a blue. Yeah, it's a blue, not a green. Sorry, guys. I got you all excited. It's a beautiful blue. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Um, I just swatched it on my hand. Um, it's a beautiful blue, but that's not the color that we want for our purposes. Um, so hang on one second. Okay, I just grabbed the NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette, and this one has a shimmery dark green. Uh, right... If I can get this up. Right here. So I'm just going to take this on the flat shader brush and put it all over my eyelid. Um, so my theme for these like holiday looks, I'm trying to do like simple, like as simple as possible looks. I'm not trying to do anything crazy or anything too glam like that because I feel like the holidays are supposed to be spent with your family like obviously you can go to like holiday parties and do like whatever you want and stuff and I feel like there's plenty of videos on YouTube that show that but I'm looking for more just like looks that you can wear you know on Christmas day something quickly like Christmas is at my house so literally there is like no time to really get all glam and everything like that and then it kind of turns into my like my family's coming over like I like to be cute but you know, if I come down with, like, a full face of makeup and my eyeliner out to here and, like, highlight to the guys, they're going to be like, who are you getting dressed up for? Like, what are you doing? Um, and I feel like that's kind of the theme for a lot of holidays and for a lot of people. So I wanted to just do some, like, simple looks um, that still, like, capture the spirit and that you can glam up if you want for, like, a holiday party. Or you can just leave as is and, you know, wear around your house and everything and that your grandma won't, you know, talk shit about you for. Um, I was like, I like put a little bit of green shadow on my face. Yeah, I'm going to need my beauty blender to fix that. Um, so, yeah, so basically I just put it all over the lid. That is the general idea. For this something simple and cool um, I am then going to go back in with my blending brush and I'm just going to blend out those the edges that I put the brown into just to make sure everything is nice and blended and there's no harsh lines um, the shadows are actually working really well together I'm like pleasantly surprised 
Not that I didn't think they would, but I thought that just because I they're two different formulas, it would kind of like be hard to blend them together. I probably just gonna have to add some stuff, but no, it's working out really well. Actually, I'm like pleasantly surprised. Um, now I'm cleaning my brush off and I'm going to go back into the best year ever palette and I'm going to take the shade, which shade, which shade do I want? I'm going to take the shade Good Girl, which is kind of like a bone yellow color and I'm going to put it on my, to highlight my brow bone. The only reason I'm not choosing why not is that I'm worried that that's going to be too light for me and it's going to look like I have white on top of my brow bone. So we'll see how good girl is. If good girl is pretty chill, then we'll add a little bit of why not to it. Because I just want to add like something to the brow bone. Yeah, see this is what I wanted. Just something nice and that nothing too crazy. Um, I think if I brought the, eye, the shadows up a bit more, maybe I would have added a highlight, but we're not trying to be too crazy, guys. It's a simple look. I'm then going to take the flat end of my brush and dip into White Christmas. It's that white shimmer right under Good Girl. And I'm going to pop this into my inner corner. Yeah, I know. You know how it goes. A little bit of umph, a little bit of pizzazz. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could take a red eyeliner or a red shadow and go under your and do your lower lash line with red um, in order to do the whole, you know, red and green type situation. Um, I don't really like putting shadow on my lower lash line, as you guys can probably tell from watching my videos. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to incorporate red, you know, and with my lips, so it's not like I need to do it. So I'm going to leave that alone. But if that is something that you are interested in, if you're the type of person that likes to put, like, bold colors um, under their eyes, please go ahead. Um, now I'm going to take my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner um, in Trooper, and I'm just going to give myself a little wing, and I'll be right back. All right, my wings are on. Um, now I'm going to take a bit of mascara. As always, I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I'm just going to use my big one, but there is a little baby one that comes in the palette. By the way, those little baby ones last because, like, I bought a couple of Too Faced sets, like, last year, and I, like, the mascara is still, like, there and ready to go. Okay, um, for highlight, uh, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Anas <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Aurora Glow Kit. Um, I was planning on using, they have the, let me just show you, they have like the green shade, um, Helia. But now that I put the white into the inner corner, I feel like I'm going to use Luna instead um, and incorporate some white into the look since that is um, another color like you know white Christmas and snow and everything and that was my phone that was super fun um, I'm just adding it lightly um, Luna is a very like stroby shade and so I try to be careful with how much I use because then um, it'll look like there's just like a white streak on my face. Okay, now for the lips. Um, 
as always, first prime lips with chapstick. Um, is officially winter, guys. You want to make sure that you're carrying your chapstick with you at all times because the lips do be getting chappy, and you don't want to be caught out there like that. Um, then I'm going to take the Tarte Double Duty Lip Sculptor in Harlequin. This is a beautiful red. Um, I really like these because it has a, a lipstick and a gloss. Um, so it gives a little like pizzazz to your lips, but you'll see in a minute. Hang on. They also smell really good. So that's the lipstick side. And you can wear it by itself, of course, but why do that when you have perfectly good lip gloss to add to it? And then there is the lip gloss side. It is a little sticky, I will admit that. It's definitely a sticky lip gloss. Um, but it just looks so nice. Like, gives you such like, a nice look. Um, so finally, of course, we're going to hit up some setting spray. Usual combination, nothing new over here, guys. We're not trying to do something crazy new for Christmas, people. It's just, you know, you got bigger things to worry about. I got presents to wrap. Feels like it's taking forever to rain down. Like, come on, guys, I gotta go. And that was um the all nighter, and this is the D slick. If I can get them open. There we go. That's better. Okay, so this is the final look. Like I said, something cute and calm for Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. If you are celebrating, um, either religiously or just because you live in America and everybody else does it or any other country, um, comment down below if you have any comments, suggestions or anything like that, or just, if you just want to talk about like what you got for Christmas or whatever, or what you, um, looked at my other videos. If you want to talk about what you got for Hanukkah, um, I have a Kwanzaa video coming up. So if you want to talk about what you got for Kwanzaa, just comment down below, tweet me, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm a big fan of all the holidays. If I have to be a fan of the holiday season, um, so I want to hear about what everybody's doing, what every tradition is, how everything is going, because while this is a Christmas video and this is the holiday season, um, Christmas is not the only holiday, and I want to make sure that everybody remembers that, that this year, um, which is why I was doing the other videos for the other holidays at this time. Um, but if Christmas is your holiday, have a very Merry Christmas, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.